So it was always my intention to teach from time I actually left high school. However, my perception of how I did things was a little bit different than everyone else. What I did first was UCCA for one academic year. Then I transferred over to the University of Tampa. There I decided to study art because I firmly believed that I needed to be stronger in the area that I wanted to teach. I decided to do a teaching certification program that would allow me to teach full time. Coming back to Kim and Brack after achieving so much overseas was really invigorating. It felt amazing to be able to give back to the community. What inspires me the most to teach is working with the younger children of the Cuban Islands as well as sharing my love of, of art with them. When you see students understand what they're doing, when they are getting something. So for example, a student may or may not have gotten a concept before, is that little look in their eye when they finally get it and you can see that they are excited about what they are doing. For you to make a lasting impact in the community, I believe that it's important to build strong bonds and relationship with your students, as well as the parents and the different teachers in the community or in your school. I think that a lot of younger people are starting to acknowledge teachers and starting to consider taking on that career. You are able to learn more about your community, build stronger bonds with your community, as well as to build really strong relationships with your students. Teaching is a meaningful career path because you have the opportunity to leave a lasting impact on a child's life. There are different people around the world as well as even across Grand Cayman. They have different cultures. Your impact on them could be so meaningful that they, you could be the reason why they move forward and become successful. And I would actually like to really encourage other persons and other younger Caymanians to take on the mantle of teaching.